Hey everyone, Micah here with Electrek. Today we're reviewing the Fukari Taurus Fat Tire Electric Bike. Come along with us while we check it out. The Fukari Taurus is another one of those larger than lifestyle e-bikes, and by that I mean the thing feels pretty darn big. Fat tires are of course quite large, but when they're 26 inch diameter like these, compared to the smaller 20 inch fat tires we often see, well, they somehow feel significantly larger than just by 6 inches. But then again, those large diameter fat tires are exactly what you want if you're actually going to be doing real off-roading, especially in areas with lots of dips, ruts, or even back on the road when you hit a pothole. For off-roading though, large diameter tires simply roll over bumps or dips better, and that seems to be what Fukari was aiming for with this massive, nearly 90 pound e-bike. And since they know people are going to be taking this e-bike off-road, they seem to have outfitted it accordingly. There's a pretty decently powerful 750 watt rear hub motor that puts out 1200 watts of peak power, so it's not likely to get bogged down in loose terrain or while climbing modest hills. And that power also makes the bike fast. In fact, a bit too fast, technically speaking. It can hit 28 miles an hour or 45 kilometers per hour on pedal assist, but it can also do it on throttle only, which technically makes it an out of class e-bike, since class three e-bikes can't use a throttle to go that fast. If you're actually off-roading, that probably won't matter, at least not on private land without restrictions, but if you're on public roads in a state that uses the three-class system, which most states in the US do, know that this may have an effect on your bike's legality. Practically speaking, you're unlikely to have a run-in with a cop unless you're riding recklessly or endangering others, which of course you should not be doing anyway, but just keep that in mind. Moving on, next let's check out that battery which is a huge 48 volt and 25 amp hour pack for 1200 watt hours. That is a massive battery, folks. They say it's got an even more massive range of 60 to 140 miles. And if I'm laughing, it's because that is so unrealistic. Yeah, 60 miles is possible on a bike like this if you're pedaling a decent bit. You might even get 40 to 50 miles on throttle only if you stick to around 20 miles an hour but you are not getting 140 miles without some Herculean pedaling on your part. So while we often take range ratings with a grain of salt, this one requires an extra tablespoon or two. Even so, there's no denying that a huge battery like this is going to get you more range than a typical 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery like you find on so many of the fat tire off-road e-bikes we see these days. And continuing around the bike, I still see more things I'm liking here. Hydraulic disc brakes, check. I like that, especially on a big heavy bike. Front suspension, good, gotta have it. Seven speed derailleur and back. Nothing fancy, but it's gotta be there for those that want to pedal and want the ability to change gears. There's even included LED lighting, though the rear tail light, despite it being slickly integrated into the frame, seems like it's a mistake in a way since it's only on the right side of the bike. If you are going to be riding on the road, then you're probably on the right side of the road and the tail light should be on the left side of the bike so cars can see it. That one, it's a bit of a head scratcher for me. All told though, I'm pretty positive on the Fukari Taurus. I like that trellis style frame since it's a fun departure from the cookie cutter bike frames we often see. However, the MSRP on this bike is what kills me. It's listed at $2,499, which is way too expensive for a bike like this. It doesn't even have a torque sensor for crying out loud. The upside though, is that I don't think they really intend to sell it at that price since it's on sale for a much more reasonable $1,599. It's probably one of those cases where companies put a pretty high MSRP so they can look like they're giving you a crazy good deal. At that price though, $1,600, now we're talking. A fast and powerful e-bike feels like a much more reasonable deal at $1,600 than $2,500. It's not a particularly fancy bike, but it does ride well it handles itself off-road with those big tires, even if they're not as nimble as 20 inches, and the bike looks pretty nice to boot, in my opinion. All told, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the Fukari Taurus. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.